Hey guys, it is the Dev Gabe here. It has been a very long time since I've made another Roblox Studios tutorial, but in today's tutorial, um, actually it's a script giveaway. I'm giving away a script or a module script that um basically combines all of the remote events into just one module. So this is actually performant for your game instead of having many different remote events. So if we go into replicated storage and we add a uh, another remote event and then we have more you know instead of having a bunch of remote events with different names and calling them like with a local variable we just have one module that has just one event and we can just call that event as much as we want by passing a uh, string value that will tell us what remote we're talking about so this is very performant instead of having a bunch of object values and it's very easy to use this is a very beginner friendly um module to use and i'll show you exactly how to use it but before we get started if you want to get the module it will be in the description below as soon as you get the module and you click on uh get it will be in your inventory and in the inventory you should see remote messenger you can just add it in to your game now when you get it you can um put it in replicated storage I'd recommend putting it in a folder and to keep your modules in one folder. You can call this folder modules. And you could put all your modules that you use because usually people use more than one module. You could just put that module in there. And now we can actually test this out. So let's get a script and a local script. All right, and then we're just going to require the module in our script. So now let's just get local remote messenger equals um, require game dot replicated storage dot remote messenger dot remotes actually dot modules because we put in the modules for dot remote messenger. And then uh, we can just send it to the client. So it's actually very easy to use. Let's just look inside the module. So I, I already added some notes in here if you guys want to read it. But basically, um, to, to send it um, from this client to the server, you do dot send server. And then the text, the, the name of the remote, it's just in a string value. And then whatever you want to send right after it. And then on the server side, you can just do add listener. You don't have to check if it's on client events or on server event just do add listener and it's just one add list um one connect uh, operator and then you could just pass in the function and it will connect so it's very very easy to use and then if you want to disconnect it you can just make a local variable and then call that variable just as like you call a function and it will call it off so it's great and like we also have bindable events in here uh, it's not just remote events. We have, um, it's called restore and transfer. So a bindable event is from script to script and then, um, or local script to local script. So if you want to uh, communicate from, you know, the same scripts, you can use a bindable event. Now, if you don't know what these are and you don't understand what events are, you should try to watch some tutorials um on youtube if you really need a remote event you would need a remote event to communicate from client to server or from uh if you're using a bindable event you can communicate from script to script okay and you can look at here these are all of our functions that we're going to be using to call now what we're going to be using to call into the local script let's say if you want to make a chat message we can use something called send uh send all clients or send client so let's just do um send all clients because we don't have a specific player so we can just do thread dot send all clients so in our script we want to communicate to the local script we do remote messenger dot send all clients and then the command name so the command name is just what we want to call our remote we can just call this bobby and then whatever uh, message we want to send right after it. Let's just do uh, testing um, message. And then in our local script, 
we just have to get the um we have to re require it again so we can just copy and paste that and then we just have to do remote messenger dot add listener and then the command name which is what do we call it bobby bobby and then the script now the main reason we have to add the script is so we know if the script destroys or not okay that was a problem i had when uh with the original script i caught i basically uh updated the script from the original owner which is b ricey and he didn't make it so if the script destroys um it will disconnect it so it was kind of like breaking and going all over the place so this is going to make it so if the script destroys by passing in the script value um then it will remove it from the table so that's why we're having the script and then we can pass in our function so we can make a local function right above it local function get message and then automatically um when we go into the receiving event you know it will pass in the set and you know that's a little confusing but you know it's just basically gonna connect the testing message so we're gonna get message which is gonna be testing message right there that's basically what we're passing in so we just put get message like that and then we do message print message very simply like that very not too hard and yeah that's pretty much it so on our, our on our script we're sending all the clients testing message and in our local script um we're gonna get the message now i'm gonna add like a wait so i'm gonna use task.wait just to make sure that the local script um loads in fast enough before the script starts let's just make this five seconds actually and then and now let's just test it out by running the game so if we did this right it should print out testing message since we put the word print right here and the message is testing message okay so yeah let's run this all right oh nothing listening listening to bobby that's interesting and we have a, a core script error promise rejection so this this error right here is not a part of us but we actually had an issue it's saying nothing listening to bobby um the local script did not load fast enough before the script starts so let's just make this 10 seconds All right, now we're loading in our game. Yeah, we have an issue with the core scripts. Something with promises. Promise module is pretty advanced. And now it says testing message. So it's just because um, our local script did not load in fast enough. That's why it gave us nothing listening to Bobby. Because um, the local script wasn't loaded in quick enough to actually connect it to Bobby. And yeah, this was sent to all the clients because... Um, it's just like fire all clients. So this was sent to every single client's local script. Whoever has this local script. And we're, we're going to know everyone has this local script. Because, um... Oh, where do we put... Oh, we put this in starter character scripts. So yeah, since we put this in starter character scripts, it's going to go to, into all the characters. And when we look into workspace, in our character, we're going to have the script local script. We didn't name it anything. But yeah, we can we can also use other functions in here as well. It is very easy to use, guys. It's just basically adding a listener and calling the list calling the name with the command name. And you can do send client, send all clients. You gotta make sure if it's in a local script or a script or a server script. So you gotta make sure that you know that you're using the right one. And if it's from script to script. You can use bind send, which is basically uh, bindable events. So yeah, you can definitely utilize this module. It is great to use, guys. I definitely recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial or a script giveaway. And I hope that this, guy, uh, this module helps you guys out. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.